Hi, on the USA's performance at their US trials, Shannon Sharp, the YouTube sensation and ESPN sports journalist, sends a huge threat to Jamaica. He says, Jamaica, we have something for you. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. And ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, we know that the entire United States, uh, certainly the fans of track and field, are high on the performances at their recently held USA National Championships, where Shakari Richardson, the darling of the United States in terms of women's 100 meters and track and field, and current world champion in that event, well, she stormed to a victory in the finals of the women's 100 meters, winning a world leading time of 10.71. This has sent many, and I mean many of the USA's top sports journalists into a tizzy high on Shakari, including YouTube sensation with the biggest YouTube video all time. Certainly interview Shannon Sharp. Remember him from that Cat Williams interview. Shannon Sharp, who is one of the top sports journalists at ESPN, sends a direct threat to Jamaica and the Jamaican female athletes. Sharp says, we got something for you, Jamaica women. I am putting y'all on notice. Well, it's evident to me that Shakira Richardson's performance at the USA National Trials has the Americans high, high, high. They're a big time, big stage performers, and Shakira Richardson is one of those. Final of the Women's 100. Here it is. Let's see who's going to be first. It must have been stuck from Shakira Richards and Tom Lee Day. What's going to happen now? Now Shakira starts to wind up and she goes by the Jefferson. Shakira Richardson takes Sydney. Shannon Sharp went off in a segment on ESPN talking about how uh, the USA is about to trounce Jamaica, the Jamaican women in the 100 meters. All right. All right. I put them back. Yeah, I'm high. If they fought, if I'm they, high. If they we fought, got something for y'all, Jamaica. Shay, 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 Shay. That, oh, you're damn right. Whoa, 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 wait a minute now. We got something for Jamaica. I, I understand that. Listen, I believe in us. I believe in us. But let's not tug on the cake now. This is Jamaica. We got you talk something for Jamaica. Just, 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 just be careful. We don't get them. Just be careful. Remember what we did to them in the world? We got something for you. We got okay. something for the Jamaican women. We said, hey, the limit. I don't see. Hey. You ain't huh? running. You ain't the one running. All I'm we saying got... is stop tugging at them. Stop tugging at them like that. Stop that. Stop, That's stop, what stop we're doing that. To them. Stop that. That's what we're doing. Stop that right now. Stop that right now. Just be cool. Just be cool. As I said, the American commentators are high, high, high on Shakari Richardson. I want to get high. <laughs> yes, people. The man said they've got something for Jamaica. Listen. Women's 100 meters with a world leading time of 10.71 seconds, stamping her ticket to the Paris Olympics. Shannon, how ridiculous! How good is she? She's very, very special. If her blocks, if she can get consistency with her start, I believe she is a, a woman that can run 10 sub six. That's how good she is. If you look at her 50 and to close, the last woman I've seen that had that kind of 50 to closing was Flojo. She stumbles yep. out of the blocks in the, in, in, the, in the opening, and she runs 1088, and then she goes 1080, and now she just ran 1071 with a legal win. If she works on that start, because I think her competition is going to be Sharika Jackson, uh, Tulu from the Ivory Coast, and uh, Julian Alfred, uh, uh, the uh, the Texans, the former Texas great. I believe that's her competition, but her competition. Now, this of course is my two cents. Okay, so um, Shannon Sharp has. He makes a few good points. I agree. Sharika Jackson, 
Julian Alfred uh, Talu. I've said that. I've also thrown in Shelly and Fraser Price. He doesn't believe that Shelly and Fraser Price is going to be a factor because he said she's almost 40 and she's just too old. And he's knowledgeable enough to know that Elaine Thompson Hera is injured and seems to be out of the process. Now, like I said, the Americans are high on Shakari Richardson. And I don't have a problem with this because, you know, we are high on Sharika Jackson. We are high on Elaine Thompson Hera. We are high on Brianna Liston. We are, we are high on our athletes too. And this, I think, is friendly rivalry. We anticipate this every year when there's a world championship, when there's a diamond league, when there is a Olympic Games. But I want the Americans to remember, we have not yet seen the Jamaicans really run. We have seen Shelly and Fraser Price run one race, a season opener running 11.15. And I hear Jamaicans in the comments saying that she was struggling. She was not struggling. She jogged that race. She was hesitant at the beginning. She was fine. I saw no problems. And Sharika Jackson just looked as if um, the wheels, how would I put it, were rusty. So I am going to reserve my opinions, as I've said repeatedly since the beginning of the season, until I see the finals of the women's 100 meters, which happens on Sunday the 30th of this month. That's when I'll be able to make some sort of realistic assessment. Yes, crunching the numbers, at this point, Shakari Richardson is the world leader. She is the person to beat. And I've said it repeatedly, Shakari Richardson is the real deal. I've said for two years. I said, any day this girl gets her head together, we're going to be in problems. She is a brilliant athlete. I'm not going to take that away from her. Great athlete. But listen to me. We have Sharika, who has already ready ran the same 10.65 that Shakari has run. We have Shelly was around 10.60. Now, we know that she may not be in that form. And Elaine, we are really not sure. But I'm saying that I still see at least two medals for Jamaica in the women's 100 meters. I believe Shelly and Fraser Price is going out with a bang. She has always done this. She has always delivered on the world stage. And I am confident that Sharika Jackson, between now and um, the Olympic Games is going to be in sub 10.7 um uh, uh, uh how would i put it Ten, sub 10.7 condition so i don't think the game is over yet uh, shannon sharp and i hear you i hear you saying you've got something for the jamaicans but guess what we have something for no we have something for oh no and, you know, I understand that why a country that's supposed to be the most powerful country on earth, wealthiest country in the history of mankind, the country with 320 odd million people would be petrified that a country with 3 million people can produce this many sports superstars. But I think things are going to be very different. I think, first of all, that the um, I think Jamaica is going to have a surprise in the men. The men's 100 meters, a huge surprise or two. Um, and I really think that the Olympic women's 100 meter finals is not ready and done. It, it, it's not, yeah, because when I hear Americans, uh, particularly sports journalists, draw for the Flo Jo card, not since Flo Jo have I seen this. She has a sub 10.6, bruh. Do you know how many women have ran said 10 points, sub 10.6 in history? Three, Mr. Sharp. Three women, two of whom happen to be Jamaican. Elaine Thompson, Shelley and Fraser Price, and of course the great Flojo of the United States of America. So I am not going to say this girl can run a sub 10.6 because that is no easy task. I'm not saying it's impossible, but if she can do it, Sherry Jackson can do it. You know the old saying, anything you can do, I can do better. So, I hear you, Mr. Sharp. And on the behalf of many Jamaicans, let me say, we have something for Una too. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification bell, the like button. Remember your royals, kings and queens. Bless up.